nice weather again today. Let's see if there will be a streak of sort. And what's going on today? I guess first things first, I tried to get that Nano up and running. Did it work? As you guys know, the issue yesterday, it seemed like for some reason, it just kept saying disconnected, I guess with the controller and the phone. So my first thought was, okay, cable or something like that. So I actually did try a different cable, my own, and then for some reason, that made it connect to the controller. So everything started up. I actually tested it again with their own cable and then for some reason afterwards it worked with theirs so I don't really know what the issue was there. I did actually try taking it in and out too before with their own cable so I don't know. Funny enough too, just yesterday they released a new firmware for this so I maybe wonder if that played a factor. Some of the stuff made me wonder, for example in terms of fixing, it says fix the over discharged battery charging issue on the Nano aircraft over discharged battery. Is that what happened, for example, when the drone just lost power all of a sudden? I still don't know why. It almost seems like, in many ways, it was because power just got cut off all of a sudden. Because there's no, for example, warnings or anything. Other than that, I was able to update it eventually, so everything seems good. So I'll do the test today to see how it is. Kind of good, because I think I noticed some cherry blossoms and stuff around too. That's one of the main things I wanted to capture. Other than that, what did I read today? I read this one at first, it was interesting because initially I had a reaction saying, oh no, is it another one of these articles where they claim, for example, some animal expert saying, if you fly a drone on 100 meters in the air, it'll give like whales and stuff a heart attack or something? Apparently there's a twist to this. This one says, Duke Care refers 33 dolphin harassment cases to federal law enforcement. It did deal with a drone, but not what you would expect, I think. It says here, DLNR Division of Conservation and Resources Enforcement, do care officers, initiated cases against a large group of swimmers actively pursuing a pond of dolphins in Hanada Bay Sunday morning during a routine patrol in the South Kona District. Drone video and photographs show a group of swimmers who appear to be aggressively pursuing, quarreling, and harassing the pod. Do care officers contacted the group of 33 in the water and alerted them to the violation. They were met by uniformed officers on land where a joint investigation was initiated by Do Care and the NOAA Office of Law Enforcement. So imagine that, a group of people actually swimming up to these dolphins where people are saying there, well look at that, you are harassing them and so forth and they're using a drone flying above them to gather the evidence to monitor it and all that. So again, that's actually a perfect example in my opinion where people say, you fly the drone so high it harasses them and so forth. No, this in my opinion would be more along the lines of quote harassing, you're going right up to them and all that. That's a little different. So how would people explain this? Like those quote, I guess, animal experts who say, again, if you fly a drone, I don't know, 80 to 100 meters in the air, it gives whales and stuff a heart attack and so forth. Doesn't this prove with fact, for example, too, even though it should be common sense? No, it's more if you do stuff like this. Kind of makes me think too, in situations like these where you have so much evidence and basic common sense would tell you too, like, hey, if a guy's flying that high, there's nothing wrong. What do you do, for example, if you go back to the past or even present and you notice all those people that try to drone police other people for doing absolutely nothing wrong, do you just in a sense let them quote get away with it or do you call them out on it? Because in my opinion, in many ways, I think you have to bring those people up to saying, hey, are you going to say something now? I personally think that's a big reason why you see things like hysteria because you have people, for example, drone policing others when they're doing nothing wrong in these cases, scaring people from doing it when in reality they're doing nothing wrong. So can you imagine that? You keep the narrative up. Oh yeah, only quote someone who pays, I don't know, $2,000 in some kind of certificate. You have to be an official to fly it. Somehow they doing it won't give like the animal a heart attack and so forth. Like that's ridiculous in my opinion. I can only conclude for the most part there, it's more people wanting to control who gets to do what in many cases for commercial reasons. So some people only want to be able to do it themselves more as a competitive advantage per se. And that's not the right way to go if you're trying to base things on actual safety anyways. And then I was reading this, which made me wonder what's going on here. It looks like a couple of fried phantom drones. This one says Japanese defense firms unveil high energy laser anti-drone weapons. For the first time, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and Kawasaki Heavy Industries have unveiled in public 
the prototypes of their respective laser systems to shoot down incoming hostile unmanned aerial vehicles displayed at the DSEI Japan 2023 show which was held in Chiba Prefecture from March 15 to 17th both systems marked a crucial advancement for Tokyo amid concerns that the Chinese military may launch a swarm attack by drones around the disputed Senkaku Dayu Islands and major bases of the self-defense forces. And as it says here, they played a video showing a 10 kilowatt fiber laser that shoots down a flying drone 1.2 kilometers away in 2 to 3 seconds. MHI officials said the company plans to deliver the prototype to Japanese Ministry of Defense in December. That makes me wonder again, does it actually roast, let's just say, everything within that line then? Because it also says here, when asked if the system could intercept incoming missiles, one MHI official said, we haven't done a high level of research in-house, but I think it is possible by increasing the output energy. Yeah, I guess they're really going at it in terms of trying to create counter drone stuff too. See you guys later.